Yes, uh, thanks everyone for letting me know that the stream is going just fine. It does indeed have that Heroes of Might and Magic slash Civ mix feel. I really liked, uh, I think it was Heroes 3, well one of the older heroes when I was uh, a kid. That that game was tons of fun, so I'm, I'm definitely liking what I've seen of this game so far. And the way you set priorities to place your units but then have the units fight seems like a really good way of dealing with simultaneous turns. So I would like to try out the multiplayer at some point um, and see if uh, the implementation of multiplayer is superior to Civ. Alright, so digging in, we've got a new quest, or the quest is complete. Uh, we did fight off that Avenging Army, we got the Glass Steel Reward, and um, hmm, a new quest. A Madman's Dream. There is some nice flavor text here. I don't think I uh, am going to read that right now, but um, it does look pretty awesome. The objective is to search Temple of Ruins, and um, after gathering 10 titanium and 20 wine. Um, so we need titanium and we need wine, and I don't think we have, we don't have any sources of wine within our territory. So we're not going to be able to fulfill that quest for quite some time. Let's turn the yields off, it is a little distracting, or it detracts from this beautiful map. Uh, there is wine in the uh, neighboring area though, so we've scattered out this entire action area. Uh, and if I do want something with food, it looks like that life tree or massive tree is our only food anomaly. Yeah, so we'll settle the city somewhere by this life tree, um, probably on this side of the life tree so that we can extend our burrows over towards these high production anomalies. Yeah, so maybe we'll go and build a settler next. Maybe, hmm, yeah, that seems like a good plan. Um, Geomic lab, that's fine, and then we'll queue up a settler. We do have a lot of glass steel, so let's go and have a look at our hero. Uh, there is a tech tree. Well, it's a, it's not so much a tree, but there are techs to progress through. You progress to the next era after unlocking nine techs from the previous era. Uh, but there are no prerequisites or dependencies like that. Uh, hey Fruit Strike, uh, I am playing the Necro somethings, Necrophage. Um, so we're not so good at growing, but and uh, we're definitely bad at diplomacy. So we're going to be taking over all our neighbors through conquest. Um, right. So the plan here was to look at our hero before I was distracted by the chat. Thank you for distracting me, by the way. I really appreciate it. Okay. So inspect. We could, we all have tier one gear. Um, why don't we go and research the Empire Mint? Let's go and research some better weapons. If we do want to do some early aggression, let's go and grab alchemical alloys here. Oh wait, no, that's H2. Um, advanced alloys, that sounds good to me. Better weapons, that'll be our next research project. And, um, Let's go and explore the Broken Lord's territory. And in fact, what's my maximum army size? Movement, two of four units. We'll go and take this forager with us as well. We'll bring a very large army to go and meet the Broken Lords. All right, so uh, new army. I think that's what I need to do. And then uh, go and join you up there. So we've got three units. These guys do need some healing. Uh, I think they heal faster within the city, um, so let's just hang around here, let's see. So these guys fought this turn, does that mean that they don't heal as rapidly? Uh, research on the environment has completed. Yeah, the necrophages are very reminiscent of the Zerg, for sure. Alright, so we've met another faction here, these guys are the Draken. Um, Cold War and Trusting, that's interesting. Well, if they're trusting, maybe we'll play nicely with them. They're just to the north. Wow, this is really crowded. 
Um, so we'll try to settle the region here and we'll probably go and attack the Broken Lords. That's the plan for the next little while at least. Um, and it doesn't look like we've healed up too much. I think we will heal faster within the city tile. Let's just hang out there for a little bit. Uh, yeah, sure, sleep. And uh, we're about to finish the Borough Streets. And uh, what's this guy doing? We've got the Vanguard wandering out. Uh, Broken Lords Vanguard. They're not sieging our city, so that's fine. We can turn the yields off again, make things nice and pretty. Um, and we are healing the foragers a lot faster here. Alright, we'll spend one more turn in the city, and we'll go and attack. Um, Geomic Labs next, that's fine. After the Geomic Labs, that's only going to take us two turns. Um, we're still in summer, surprisingly. Let's go and grab the titanium extractor and uh, we'll go and drop that over here. And um, should we go and declare war? Oh, okay, the Broken Lord unit has already wandered away. Vanguard, let's see. So, declaring war in this game actually takes influence. Um, so how do I do that? Faction... Diplomatic status. Broken Lords. Mildly jealous, trusting, and trusting. Alright. If I wanted to declare war, I would need 56 influence. Um, Alright. So, we still have some time. I'll just go send this guy off to explore. And if I want to declare war, right away. I'll need um, to earn some more of this influence. So in this game you can assign your citizens to um, any of the five resources. We've got food, production, science, dust, and influence. Um, influence I guess would be like culture in Civ 5, but it uh, has many different uses. Alright, I'm fine with working production here, although Faster growth would be a good idea. All right, we'll go settler. Wait, we already have the settler queued up. Titan okay, yeah, jump labs, then a settler, uh, and then the titanium extractor. All right, so that looks good. And let's have another look at what quests we have going. Placed armies, <laughs> are they here for a vacation? And in, indeed, this does look like Dr. Doom. Um, start a negotiation. Can I demand anything of him? All of the negotiation requires the use of influence, which I think is a cool mechanic, so you can't just go around um, making all sorts of proposals like you could in Civ Five. All right, um, well, I do want to come back and escort my settler. I'm assuming I can't just wander those guys out on their own. Although, all this entire region has been pacified. I've taken out all of the minor factions here, so unless uh, the Broken Lords, who have a unit down here, spend influence to declare war on us, I think the settlers should be safe. And actually, if they declare war on me, I think that would save me some influence, so I wouldn't be uh, too upset if that happened. Let's just go and keep on exploring uh, the Broken Lords' territory here. Maybe convince him to declare war on us. There's a life tree, that's a nice food bonus. Rumbling stones, a production bonus. Alright, that looks good. So we're working on a settler, we're gonna go and claim this region unless someone else beats us to it. Um, right over here, beside the massive tree, for the bonus food. And uh, yeah, keep on exploring. Broken Lord territory, let's see, is that neutral? I think that's neutral territory here, although it could be... Let's see, who are the other factions again? We've got the Broken Lords, the Draken, and... Who are these guys? Why do they all look the same? Do we have double Draken in here? I think we do. Ah, the music in this game is beautiful. Uh, let me know if you can hear the music, or if the music's too loud or too quiet. And I really like how 
the uh, map simplifies down when you zoom out. Oh man, seriously? Broken Lords? They beat me to it. And they settled their city way down here. Does that even make sense for a spot to settle? Not really. I, well, they do have the... they settled right on the mineral rich anomaly, so they've got a lot of production there. Alright, well, we'll go... So if we conquer their city, I don't think if we wanted to raise it, we would have to raise it separately. I guess that's not a bad spot for a city. I wonder if we get all of their buildings. Hmm. Anyways, we're gonna we're slowly working our way up to enough influence to actually declare war. I am playing on normal difficulty since uh, I've only played a few hours of this game. I figure uh, this is more of a learning game than anything. But I have played enough to sort of have a general idea of what the things are and and at least have a rationale for the various choices that I'm making. But um, this is not at all an expert level playthrough. Uh, I didn't play any of the early access. This is a game that was uh, that came out of early access just on Thursday. So a very new game, uh, definitely one that I'm excited about. Seems pretty interesting so far. We've got advanced alloys now. So if we wanted to come home, get ourselves some new weapons, let's go and check out how that would improve our hero. Okay, so we can now get these slightly better tier 1 weapons uh, if we want to use some... Okay, well, let's look at uh, the actual weapons first, since that's the probably the most exciting bit. Improved movement, improved vision. We could get some more movement on this guy. That would just cost us a little production. Uh, or just cost us dust, which we could uh, spend once he was back in our territory. Alright, so first of all, weapons. This gets us improved attack and defense, as well as damage. So let's look at our values here. 66, 56, and 35. 78, 56, and 44. That's nice. Um, okay, so what's our default weapon? Our, uh... Okay, so the glass steel weapon ups our initiative. I think our initiative is high enough. I think I probably want to use this titanium sword. Uh, although, there's titanium claws. Oh man, that's a lot more attack value. And uh, it just means that we... Uh, it's a... Uh, Two-handed, so we won't be able to use the shield. Our defense drops to 50 from 56. Actually, I think I want to go with the claws here. Yeah, look at that attack value. Alright, so when we come home, we'll probably update the claws. And uh, we won't worry about the shields then, since we're going to go uh, two-handed claws. Are you sure you want to leave the screen? Yeah, we can't apply this because we're not in our home region, but um, that was something good to uh, just see now that we have the improved weapons. All right, so what's next? We need one more tech before we can get into era two. Um, actually, if I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't research the advanced alloys uh, I would research something else here, like maybe the public library, and then I would research the alchemical alloys in level 2 for tier 2 weapons. So this was probably a waste, but um, we'll roll with it. It's a learning game. Uh, do we have the open pit mine? Alright, if we do want some luxuries, uh, we probably need that. And if we want to actually earn text faster, the public library would be useful as well. Let's see. Um, since I don't actually have a place to expand with this settler too, let's cancel this settler. Resources will not be refunded. Uh, no. I uh, will just queue a whole bunch of things out in the front. Uh, if we are going to war, we could probably use one of these necro dragons. Um, although, since I am doing tier 1 stuff, let's go and look. Can we go and modify this guy. We can go and give him some better weapons. Uh, 51 and 44. 67. It does increase our costs slightly.
All right, let's also give this guy a little more armor. Tier one armor. Sure, and a helm. All right, it does make him a little more expensive, but also a little more durable. All right, we'll apply that. Necro Dragon or Necro Drone 2.0. And uh, we'll train one of those guys. All right, so go into the city. Uh, Necro Drone. I do want the Titanium Extractor since these guys are going to use Titanium in order to be built. Hey Twitch, no username? Uh, happy weekend, thanks. Uh, sorry, uh, I guess you were preferring a Civ stream. I don't have the time or stamina today uh, for a full-on multiplayer sub game, don't have the 8 hours for that, so we're just going to do a good 3 hour uh, Endless Legend stream. Which, um, this game is looking pretty nice, I am enjoying it. As a fan of Civ, you might enjoy it as well. Please do ask any questions you might have to get your bearings as to what's even happening in this game. It can be a little overwhelming. I was recently in the overwhelmed phase myself. Okay, we're gonna finish that titanium extractor, but do I have enough titanium to actually build this new necro drone? Yes, yes I do. Barely enough, but I do. And um, I don't want to finish that settler since I don't have a place for him to go. So, we'll also go and queue up Empire Mint or Glass Steel Extractor. I do have a good reserve of Glass Steel from completing various quests, so let's go and queue up the Empire Mint. And, um, sure, let's also rebuild this village. Now, we are in summer. Winter could be happening at any time, so I don't know if I want to have people switched over to food. It would let us grow a lot faster, delay our Necro Drone, but that's fine. I don't really have a use for them right away. Let's go for the growth while we're still in summer then. And uh, I did want to check on the quests. We only have, really, we only have one quest here. This faction quest, and it requires us to grab wine and titanium first, which means we have a higher priority for taking out this city since it does have wine. Alright, um, since Broken Lords are our enemy number one, um, let's go and explore his territory a little more. We'll swing back down over this way. Uh, so winter, um, we'll soon get the pop-up for winter, but if I recall correctly, the, the most notable things are the tiles, all tile yields for reduced by one, and movement is also reduced severely. I'm not sure exactly by how much. I think it's cut in half, or maybe there's a plus one movement penalty to all tiles. Um, but it really does, it does seem to change the game. I don't know, okay, so we just, uh, we're in winter now, and we've also reached the next research era. Dismiss that. Alright. Winter. Minus 50% movement on all units. Minus 1 uh, on everything. Uh, that's production, food, and terrain. Also reduced vision. So winter. Winter is a harsh time. And we can go and choose what to research next. So if I do want to uh, push through these texts and get to advanced texts quickly, I shouldn't waste any more time researching tier 1 texts. I don't know though, I think the public library is probably going to be useful for us. Let's see, what do I need here? Extra dust would be good, approval, roads, hmm. I think production is going to be pretty important for us here. So, the production symbol is the gear. Are there texts with the gear here? Canal system, uh, plus one industry on terrain during the summer. That's not going to help us right now. 
plus one terrain uh, forest and plus one on exploitation. Okay, we do we have a river? We don't have a river, so I don't think. Well, we do have one down here. Let's go take a look at that again. Uh, so the canal system doesn't actually require a river. So that would be fine. We also need food. The public granary could help with our growth. All right, so let's go and research the public granary first. And we did grow. Um, let's switch this over. As long as we're not starving, we kind of are starving. So I will do a mix between food and production. We'll get this necrodrone out in nine turns. We do have enough um, influence now to attack the Broken Lords, but let's go and scout out his territory. Um, scouting is going to be a lot slower since it is winter. And um, before we actually go on the offensive, we do want to bring our guy home uh, so we can get the new weapons. Alright, let's go and look at... Okay, so we've got these two guys, they're pitying and mildly jealous. Okay, so we're starting to fall behind, I'm guessing, here. Let's look at the score. I think that's just a mouse over here. Uh, yeah. We aren't too far behind as far as Scar goes, but we're definitely not number one. Noctic, I am liking this game so far. Um, so, if you're considering buy it, uh, so right now it's I've only played like 10 hours of the game um, so far I would recommend it but it's with that caveat that I haven't played too much of it so far um, it'll probably go on sale if you wait um, but if you're having fun uh, if from what you've seen of my stream so far it looks like fun then um, playing is probably more fun than watching I could definitely recommend that you buy the game all right so it's back to summer Got uh, all of our yields back. Empowerment, garden village. Uh, dye extractor, glass steel extractor. We should probably get the glass steel extractor online as well. And uh, where do I want to put that? In front of the settler, yes. Probably in front of that village too. We've encountered a Roman Butter faction, the Hornas. They have orcs. And these orcs have a speed of 4, they are ranged 3. They have a strong attack and good damage, but very little defense. And if we wanted to, what happens if we attack? The village is already pacified. Uh, and we can't just go and destroy them. Alright, so this is the Broken Lord City. Ah, that's a pretty cool looking building there. Uh, they've got three units in the garrison. I don't know if those are all militia. But uh, I don't think our unit... Yeah, I think the garrison there... Is that units in addition to militia? Or... Hmm. Alright, well, we'll go home in either case. Pick up that uh, Necro Drone and uh, get our hero upgrades. So this city is closer. We'll take this out first, even though it doesn't have the wine that we wanted, and then we'll go head over to this city, and then we'll go and deal with whatever is happening with our other neighbors. Of course, I've never actually sieged a city before, so I don't actually know if this will be successful. This could be uh, the end of us if I uh, do push these hostilities. Alright, so let's get into our territory here. We'll go and do the upgrades that we wanted. Um, I think that was, was it the claws? Yeah, I think we wanted the claws. And um, we also wanted increased movement so we can run up there and deal damage with our claws. 
I don't have any improved armor. I suppose I could research some tier 2 armor. Alright, so go and apply that. There we go. So we're a little stronger here. Feed the bones the second. Attack 39. And where is our necro drone? We'll go and have this guy. New army. And can we go out and meet these guys? We can. Excellent. And uh, yeah, let's go and declare war. Well, let's get a little closer and then we'll declare war. Just in case they've got a huge army within their city, uh, we don't want to jump the gun on that. So we've completed research on the public granary. We'll go and add that to the queue. After the Empire Mint. I still have plenty of glass steel. Let's um, glass steel up in front, and public granary up in front as well. Environment, glass steel, uh, public granary. Alright, that looks good. Alright, let's get some more intel on the city. He just does have the two units there. I think that means militia. Uh, okay, so how do I declare war on these guys? Let's... Terrified. You should be terrified. Um, declaration of war is actually cheaper here. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, I'm happy for it. Declare war. Alright, so we're now up to war from Cold War status. And um, let's see. I don't have the option to siege. Let's go and attack. Let's see. How is this, how is this going to work out for us? Yes, we're just fighting militia. Um, let's do it. Alright, so he's got two militia within his city. I can place my units to completely surround that. Uh, this guy has speed 3, so we can walk around. Um, looks like there's a cliff face here, so we'll walk around in this way. And Forager, Forager. Necro drone is flying, so we can ignore terrain. That means we'll have this guy over here. Alright, so everyone's right up against the militia. This should go pretty well. Um, my Necro drone, I'll actually have him go and target this guy, just in case he gets in the way of my hero. And. Yeah, this all looks good. Okay, so the status effect poison disease, six turns. I don't know what exactly poison does, but um, since these values are in green, no, I have no idea what poison does. It sounds like it's something good for us. I think the wiki is also pretty sparse right now as well. So I won't be able to dig as deeply into the mechanics as I would for a sim video. Um, but it does look like there's a lot of stuff going on. It wasn't very hard to take those guys over. We got zero experience. Um, but now we have the city. Alright, so if we go and look at the city. There's no garrison. If I want to make sure I can hold on to the city, I should probably build some units. Or, we could go and immediately build up some of this stuff. So they're in rebellion. I wonder how long that lasts. Mill foundry. I want the production. Alright, we'll go and build the mill foundry first. And we'll put everyone on production. That's going to take us six turns. And um, should I leave someone behind? No, let's just go on to the city. If we need to retake the city, that'll be fine. So it's going to take us five turns to get over there. Hmm. <laughs>
the Hurnas, are ready to be assimilated into our, our empire. Um, so if I want some range units, I could get these orcs. Those orcs don't look bad. I think my flying units are good enough for cavalry. Although, plus 5 life does seem nice. Plus 5 attack. Alright, so I think we get more benefits for having more villages of the same type. Um, what village, or what bonus do we get from these guys? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Hernas. What kind of village is this? Uh, and why is it that we can't assimilate the Hernas here? Double runes. Double runes. Okay, so we have how many villages in our recently acquired territory? Just the one, as far as I can tell. So why is it that I can assimilate two different groups? I guess these guys are the Hernas. Okay, yeah, they are the Hernas. Um, well, that's fine. I won't worry about that for now. Um, it would only be uh, the benefit of having one village. So that doesn't sound too exciting. It might be, but... Ah, city starvation. That's not good. Um, let's have these guys go out of food then. Alright, while they're in rebellion, how do I lift cities out of rebellion? Could I go and spend some of these resources? And I have, uh, I have dyes. Do I have the tech to actually harvest dyes? Dye extractor. I do have that tech. And let's get the dye extractor in there too. We'll queue that up. Uh, right. After the public granary. Alright, so if I am going to be getting more die soon, I could go and spend some of my die. Oh, I don't have any die. And now that I have two cities, it seems that I need 15 of a luxury resource to activate the bonus, so I won't be using any luxuries to end this rebellion. What else gets me positive approval? Sewer system, I'd have to research that. Or demanding gods. We can sacrifice a population to gain approval. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Alright, see you later, Fruit Strike.